to lean to some mixed martial arts. Don't mind, I don't dress professional, guys. I don't go and put on a big wow show for you with Tai Chi like everyone else does, you know. Um, it's good to fight in shorts, I'll be honest with you. It's good to practice in shorts, too, because you got so much more leg work. And that's what I'm doing anyway, so I'm just practicing. So while I'm practicing, I don't just up and spur out of the fucking nowhere just sitting on a fucking bed, you know, and, and be like, oh, I'm going to make this video real quick. No, it really doesn't always work out that way. Uh, 9 out of 10, I'm working out, and I start thinking about things. Maybe I should share this, maybe I shouldn't share this, but whatever. I'm going to go share it, you know, because I can. <laughs> Fuck what everyone else thinks. Alright, so let's get this uh, set up here. Anyways, what I was going to talk about, we've already understood a good practice module. Obviously, uh, think about this first drill here where it's one, two, three, four, and from here, five, six, seven, of course, and from here, eight, nine, and from here, of course, now we're just going to return right back to the same position that we started in, in the first place. So, repeating that same area makes it pretty easy. And you're asking yourself, why would you repeat the same area? Because it's sometimes necessary to how the drill works. But, anyways, if it was one, two, three, four, which covered the outside striking, outside striking, and then covering the inside striking, of course. Just as you would start off on this side, you're just basically switching sides. One here, one here, but you're actually just striking once at the top, driving on in. From here, you're covering your lower bases and getting the idea of the bomb, the, the, the bar arm right here, basically the bomb style, as what the Chinese call it. But anyways, bomb style you. Coming over like this and striking and striking, of course, coming right back up, working your way back to the top. From here, making sure you cover that void for a Han Sao. Basically, it's normally called a Han Sao, so if you're just a Han Sao over and climb over, and in from in, driving on in, driving on in, and you've got this side block, and you start right back over to do it all over again. You have a basic practice pattern here for this little level of experience. It's good good training drills. The other one's like a 25 step issue, but it's gonna start you on this side. Then in the midst of it it's gonna So from the from the 19 step you're gonna take a 25 step to go from starting on this side to going to the side to going back to the side. And this 25 step it's just like you would have did the 19 step one but, but one, two, three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. From here, of course, you're going to go 10, 11, 12. From here, it's going to take you across here, starting you back onto this side. And you're going to go over, over, and over, and then over, over this way, up this way, up this way, up this way. Of course, from here, you've got to also continue on past 25 steps to do this, of course, don't you? I would think so, right? But you go from here, from here, to here, and there. And that's basically the next drill. That's pretty simple. But what does that really explain to you from the last drill? Well, in a more advanced way of just starting you off to understand the small stuff. So if he was teaching someone, you're going to teach him something small and very easily to understand. So normally I'm gonna teach you this. I'm gonna teach how to park and a palm strike and, and time from the outside or even park man style basically too. Uh, either way, you know, it's it's good stuff to start. But your basics is for me is to go like this. You know, you're gonna understand coming from the outside, coming to the inside. Go from the same side to the same side, understanding your attacking area because in a fight I'm going to swing at you, and we'll go here, and we'll go there. You know, uh, if, uh, if I was to pop here, you strike there, of course. That's how a good attack of defense comes into pop style. That, that's why I don't get into pop style yet. Pop style is still another twist of the arm. So just to teach you this way, you know, your first level of expectation to throw it in, 
boom, just like that. They throw it in at me this way, boom, just like that. It's a simple strike. To understand how to do more of a twist, more of an arm twist, because what you're doing basically is boom, like that, pocking, pocking it, and then boom, 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 working in there. So, so much ex explanation comes into teaching someone a basic understanding. But when you're moving on to the, to the longer drill, of course, which I just showed you, you might want to write it down, take it step by step, because, you know, I learned a lot of this stuff on the Internet, too. You know, I, I slowed the videos down, step by step, how they took their steps, how they did their knees, how they did all this stuff, the distances. There's a lot of good stuff. So if you take what I teach you right here and do it at home, you can do it. Just practice it. Make it a habit, and you'll be like, I did it. Yeah. All right, anyways. Once you start understanding from going up here, driving in there, of course, and once you twist this way, instead of just normally starting right back at the beginning, and when you go right over into what this is called is a consile, consiling over, consiling over, and consiling in, is more basically giving the idea of using both your arms at the same time into your practices as defense also. But, that's beginner strength too for some people, and certain people it's just a moment in time where you need to use both hands this way to have that for surety in what you're going to do. can't always be the perfect Wing Chun master and be like, oh it's perfect, oh it's perfect, oh it's perfect, I can hit you and strike you every time, come on, I'm Wing Chun Grand Master. doesn't always work that way. Anyways, once you do this and you're coming over here starting the next section of that drill, course and you're striking upwards you're starting at the top you're coming back in from the other side basically this part is teaching you a good part of your double hands understanding if I was to console up here right but I'm under at the same time so if I want to be under I'm manipulating my hand so I blocked here but I'm just going to twist this way to make that strike and even so he throws another swing at me this way and I block it here, I can still strike and quickly go on in and work my way in there. So simple little drills building these things up takes a little bit of intelligence, of course. You know, explaining why you're teaching what you're teaching and other people are like, well, do you know what you're teaching people? <laughs> yes, I know what I'm teaching people and I know what I teach people and I know I'm using strength from not using strength, understanding your beginner areas, most of all, but to your more experienced, to your more veteran areas. One of the things I like to do, I was going to share with y'all before I shut this down, is a bonus part of watching this video. I like to do bonuses or I like to just put something in a video and not say shit about it. But if you pay attention to my videos, you will get a special little gift, of course. Teach you a little bit of something that I call working the Wing Chun gummy. This is understanding. In your beginning, what you're going to understand is your striking point here. From here you block and strike, block and strike. We get past that area. Once you get the, uh, get the chemicals and the system down, you start understanding how to just flow with it. You start flowing with it. And when you twist, of course, you're twisting here to where you come over and striking in, you know, a lot of good stuff starts making sense in your head. You know, how to put it all together. How to bond with your Wing Chun dummy. How to make sense of your Wing Chun dummy. It's a piece of wood for Christ's sake. It's like ancient material before you. And you got three palms and one on the bottom, like a fucking round off little shit, staring at you. How do you use all this? Understanding, you know. Of course, folks come in here, you know. Boom. Coming over here, as I do, you know, I quickly just drive up. You know, you have so many different ideas after you put one block from block and attack. So, what I'm trying to tell you basically in the most simplest way ever is, <laughs> why didn't I say this in the beginning, is you're not always using attack and block. So if I was to come here, but from here I wanted to keep control of this hand, you can keep control of this hand. So I'm going to come over as I strike, come over, hold it up, curve my hand here to strike on over. You know, and that's going to block that next strike. From here, 
of course, I can easily push right back out from here and strike on in, strike on in, having control for my inside and understanding my inside. Having that control makes so much more better for your hands and what you want to do. Working the Wing Chun dummy just as you need to. Very, very good training. Pro probably, you know, most people are not going to expect my Wing Chun dummy to pop out like that. By the way, <laughs> i got to replace this peg. It's the second time I've had to do it, but, you know, uh, I wear and tear on this bad boy. Probably going to have to replace some of these soon later. But main thing you're going to replace on the peg anyway. I mean, on a Wing Chun dummy is your pegs. So, yeah, they're already going to get wear and tear on their situation. But anyways, <laughs> understanding the inside, just understanding step by step, sticky arms, understanding throwing your arms under and throwing your arms over, understanding each and every time. You've got a good ability right here to understand your Wing Chun Dummy more basically. So in my training exercises, I really teach you how to manipulate your hands. Understanding the work on the inside, and once you get into the flow, you start understanding how it works a little bit more. But, you know, it just takes a lot of effort. Like, people like me, I'm going to be different than you. I know, I'm into it a little bit more than others. But it's got good effort into it, trust me, once you start putting in the effort for it. So, you know, just understanding a little cool secret of mine. Just sharing about a bonus that understands your manipulation of your hands. With me and my cross hands, I could start here, come here, 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 come across again, from here, work myself up from here, to stepping over, using my straight hand, cross hands, of course, comes real easy to use your hands the way you want to use them, but, you know, logical sense it's going to come out of your Wing Chun dummy soon enough. But, as you can see, those few drills I've showed you, you want to practice those, it's going to help you understand things either way just it, it's going to help you trust me and it's a good beginner steps for a lot of people and working your wing chun dummy so if you're looking for beginner wing chun drills and your wing chun dummy and you don't have a partner well this is a good enough partner to any other wing chun and they're not really going to tell you that they want to make money and you want to be kung fu grand master whatever the fuck but i'm going to tell you how it is they do the same shit, they take their private time, they spend it like a person, they treat it like a person, like an idol. Maybe some people worship it, I don't know. But, the fact is, is this right here is going to help you understand so much more than you normally would. Either way, you're working on the idea of making sense of that, which that really didn't kind of make no sense. Unless I was really being thrown some punches or something, I don't know. But, if you watch that too closely, that might fuck you up. I'm not doing everything so perfect here. It's not always cor cor career, I don't know. Anyways, but, you know, when you're freestyling, you're going to make mistakes too. But if you're, you're basically your own teacher too, or you understand how to teach it, then you know when you make a mistake. You know when you mess up. You know when you strike wrong and you don't strike wrong. When you come across the wrong way. Maybe you're losing your imagination when you're practicing and you're fighting with your Wing Chun dummy. Um, or maybe you lost your focus or something. But, you know, you're going to practice. It's going to help you, you know. You can continue doing the same old traditional stuff. That's good. You can do exactly what Ip Man Ip Man does. I'm not here to stop that. Hell, I just taught you Sim Lao Tao traditional from the Ip Man family. That was Sim Lao Tao. Pretty easy shit. But I guess I'm going to go ahead and get off here. 
you know, trying to get people to understand your Wing Chun dummy. Understand the drills, too. The drills are going to help you a lot more than you think, like I said. But, you know, you can't really find too much of a better drill unless you're just going to double up my own drill and just block and block and attack and attack. That's the only way you can really better up the drills. So I don't want